on everybody, it's Forza Live Train, and welcome back today, guys. Forza Horizon 1 back again for today, man. Now, last time we were here, you guys showed some huge interest in this Let's Play. Over, I think, like 90,000 views very first day and over 4,000 likes. So, a huge thank you to everybody that came out for that episode. Now, one of the biggest changes from last episode is somehow magically. I have force feedback for today. Man. I don't know how this shit happened. I'm pretty damn hyped for today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 1, all you guys need to do is slap that like button. One more thing. This isn't a ticket for your TV antics. I think for one moment you're creating incidents for your show. I'll pull you from the championship quicker than you can say series cancel. For you, Alice. Anything. For real. This is a one strike and you're out deal. Okay, okay, I get it. No dangerous ass clown behavior. I swear. <laughs> Time to be an ass clown. Oh, you're the new guy. Here. Nice driving you back the last slot. That wristband means you made the championship. There are 249 other drivers competing this year, and believe me, every one of them is more famous around here than you. I crashed that one. It was awesome. <laughs> Darius, hold on a minute, will you? If you want to make a name for yourself at Horizon, it's all about how you drive. The crowds come to see spectacular racing, and I can always use a driver who has the crowd on the side. Darius, what's wrong now? Now, there was a very interesting comment that I wanted to get to from last episode. Brian Lim said, But seriously, Forza Horizon has that feel of real street racing, unlike Forza Horizon 2. It feels like Forza Motorsport 5 with different huts. Hold on, real quick. You've made it into the championship. If you want to become champion, you need to keep racing in the festival events. Win them, and you'll earn points. Points will get you new wristbands, and ultimately, wristbands will get you a shot at the title. Oh, I'd love to see a new champion. So Horizon has given you some cash to get you started. Oh, hell yeah, Good girl. Luck. Thank you. The Recaro Rush is an off-road event, so you'll need an all-wheel drive car. Let's go to the auto show and buy one. Oh shit, we get to buy our first damn whip. So going back to the comment that he had here, he's just saying that Forza 5 with a different HUD and free run. One of the reasons this game is my favorite racing game so far is because we were forced to bring a car that passes the restrictions and that you can master, which is nowhere to be heard in Forza Horizon 2. Now he actually gave an example here. Forza Horizon, you can only bring a C-Class Mini Cooper into this race. Forza Horizon 2's example, you like the Bugatti Veyron? Welcome in, right? I mean, that's kind of true, man. I mean, with all the events that we did have, uh, you know, you could really bring in whatever you wanted. And I don't know what the hell I want to pick right here, man. What do you think, Subaru or the Lancer? Oh, goddamn. I'm thinking right now. Mm, I'm going to just random it. It's happening. Yep, Subaru. I'm sorry. I random that shit, man. You guys seen it. We're going with the blue. 32,000 tokens. Big thank you. But I definitely do agree though, you know, I really do miss using lower horsepower vehicles and just more or less certain classes and certain restrictions, you know. I don't like to be, you know, or kind of given that free roam mentality where you can bring in whatever you want as long as, you know, you are happy. I want to be told what to bring in. Ooh, here we go, man. Brand new whip. Where's my force feedback gone to? It's gone now. Oh my god. So, we had force feedback for like a damn split second. And now it's gone. That sucks. I'm not too happy about that. But I don't know what it is about this no force feedback, but I do like it, man. You know, just the joy of not having to worry about whipping it on the wrong. I should shift. Yeah, okay, cool. But I definitely do agree, though. I mean, Forza Horizon 1 just has that street racing feel to it. And it really does feel almost like Fast and the Furious 1. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but oh, shit. Shit, we're okay, man. Oh my god, just a tap on the bumper and it's gone. I do like that though, man. We just modified this damn Subaru real quick. Okay. Rear end's bouncing all over the place, but I definitely do miss this feel, man. I don't know what it is. I can't really put my finger on it, but Forza Horizon just has that feel that I feel like everybody really enjoyed. And that's what really brought a lot of people to this game was how different it was. And the cutscenes really did make a huge difference 
in this game. So there was another comment here from C. Henderson, and he goes, I hope you get the cars from the showcase events in Forza Horizon 3. Forza Horizon 2, you could not only for the first Ferrari event, which which it was it was kind of weird considering, I mean, like I said, in this one here, we could really get any of these showcase cars. As long as you completed it, you got it. I mean, look at this damn off-road session. Holy shit. But, you know, I definitely do hope that Forza Horizon 3 brings it back to its roots. I seen a couple comments last episode saying, you know, that there's no really big story mode to the game, and that kind of worries me a little bit. Um, you know, just mainly because I really did enjoy this setup. Keep it up, and I might have some more work for you. Okay, girl, I see you. But, you know, if there's no story mode, you kind of make your own. It is a little bit, say, off-putting, I guess. I'm not off-putting, but I mean, I'm still excited for the game. Ramona Cravash is the girl to beat. Okay, we're gonna go beat her then. I mean, it's just it's different not having a story mode. I really wish that they put it back to the cutscenes. Like I said, I'm a huge cutscene guy. I love the cutscenes. I think it makes the game, and it really does draw you in to that game. You know, it really kind of gets you attached to the game. Whereas Forza Horizon 2, I didn't have that same attachment like I had with this game here with all the cutscenes and all the, you know, the cool animations and stuff like that. It just kind of wasn't there. And I don't know if they sacrificed that, you know, to have all the extra cars in, the different lighting, the night and day. All that stuff to come into the game. Well, I mean, this had night and day as well, but you know what I'm saying, though, right? I mean, weather and all that stuff. But, um, you know, I just really hope Forza Horizon 3 goes back to the roots of the story mode, the cutscene. I don't know how that's going to work, being able to make your own, but hopefully it will be decent. I mean, I'm sure it will, right? Forza Horizon 3, probably one of the biggest games of the year, man. I'm pretty damn hyped. And hopefully my wheel has forced feedback on it, man, right? I mean, shit, I can't believe this, though. Had it, and then I lost it. I should have just stuck in that Mustang. But there is hope, though. Whatever I did, I don't know what I did. Um, it gave me force feedback, so that's a plus. Just hopefully, I can get it again. Oh, yeah. Look at that damn whip. Fourth gear. Running. Look at these damn guys, man. Let's see if we pass a few of them. This definitely does remind me of the damn original Fast and the Furious, and if I had to compare Forza Horizon 2, it would then kind of be like a Fast 6, and then, you know, comparing Forza Horizon 3 with no story mode and all that, it's more like, you know, a Fast 7, man, right? I mean, I don't know. Leave me your best analogy for Forza Horizon in general, and are we going to be able to make this, man? Oh, it's two laps. It's two laps. Okay. Got a little bit nervous right now. Thought I was done. We're in fifth place. We need to make damn first, and I did remember, uh... All the damn driving cars are set to hard, so we gotta haul ass right now. Come on, baby. We gotta really uh, get in front here, big time, quick. Damn, Rockfield. Oh. Subaru top end, man. That boxer motor is kicking right now. Probably was not the best way to get that damn corner going, but that's okay, though. Can we make it? We are pulling on Brown and Daryl. Or Darrow. Darrow? What the hell? I've never even heard of that name before. Excuse me! Oh, look at this guy trying to take my ass out, man. Get your back, man. Second... Unable to upload time and goes for the ride service not available. What the f Why am I playing this shit then? I'm, I'm just kidding. Imagine that though. It just resets me all the way back to number damn one. Big thank you. We're going to take second place. It wasn't first. However though, I forgot that it was on a hard difficulty all the way till the end of the race. So, bear with me. Next race, we'll go try hard right from the damn get-go. I promise. Two more yellow events. It's up to you which order you enter them in. Well, shit, I mean, we were right there. Might as well just go up to the one right in front of us. Now, the next comment here is coming from Pop455RC. And he says, every Thursday, a new video. Throwback Thursday, man. 29 of you guys thumbs up that comment. Maybe it will, man. Maybe it will, you know, at least make a return every Thursday until the launch of Forza Horizon 3. I am thinking about also going back and revisiting Forza Horizon 2's career mode. Just seeing the differences, because I don't even think... Well, no, I think I beat it already, but I think there's another tier that I can go through. So, 
Um, I, I may revisit that as well, but for the most part, though, if you want to keep seeing Forza Horizon 1, like I said, the biggest thing to do, slap that like button. I do want to get some online sessions going as well, too. The biggest thing, though, is just getting some cars, man. I forget, though, if I can use some... Oh, wh why did I hit that button? No, just, yeah, it's fine right there. Thank you. Um, I don't know sure if I can use anybody else's cars online. Plenty of events ahead. Okay. Um, however, though, I do want to revisit the king mode. For this event. Okay, you just let me pick the damn card. Just shut up, lady. God damn. But I do want to revisit king. That was one of my favorite things. I actually made a montage way back in the day. Uh, if you guys have not seen that montage, which I highly doubt a lot of you guys have, and I think it only has like 10,000 views on it. It's, it's very small. I made it way back in the day, and I think you guys will enjoy that. I'll leave that link down below for you guys, but one of my favorites, though, for a King montage. Had some nice damn edits, had some nice jukes on there. Highly recommend at least. Occasionally born and laughing. I ain't talking about Jim Jones. Nigga, I'm talking about hooping up. Special shirt, break the rubber, punch it out the window. It's cool. We just getting saucy and awesome. We bossy. Trying to bring back. Checking that out, man. Definitely recommend it. Let me know your thoughts down below if you end up watching it as well, too. Ramana, I don't want to hear shit, alright? You beat me last time, I'm beating you this time. You got this. A little slow start, but, I mean, that's what it takes sometimes. You're driving a damn stock Mustang. But, I mean, like I said, though, I like this. And I can appreciate lower horsepower cars. And especially on Forza 6, when, you know, we go back to this now. And, you know, the drifting isn't really the same anymore with higher horsepower vehicles. You know, it's really nice to go back to the roots of, you know, just lower horsepower vehicles. And, I mean, it's the same thing applied with Fast and the Furious. Same thing again. You know, they, they think that we want to see all these damn... High horsepower, super crazy damn cars. Where realistically, I would be content with just seeing S chassis the whole damn movie. Some you know, Subaru, some Lancers, some muscle cars, shit like that, right? I mean, going back to the roots. You don't need a lot of money in order to look good. And I mean, unfortunately, they've been lost in that Hollywood mentality now with all the damn special effects. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying that they have lost the roots of some old school beauties in there. And I would really love. To see that make an appearance back. I mean, that's just me. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're coming up, man. We're in third place. We need first. I'm having it right here. Drafting it. Oh, shit. No force feedback. Just killed me right there. 76. We may not catch her. Come on, baby. Got a big damn cut right up here. Don't. Yep. Thank you. Can I catch this chick? Come on. Just a Ford Raptor. Don't do this to me, girl. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my shit. Not happy. Second place again, man. Can I just get first? I suck. I I saw the speed in you. What do you mean you saw the speed, girl? We just we just came in second. That's shitty. It's not even damn first. If you ain't first, you damn last, man. Yes, I'd like to stay in this. Thank you. So I did ask you guys, though, uh, about your wheels and if you were receiving force feedback. Semi Pro Jesus, he commented saying running Logitech G920 wheel and force feedback works fine. So that's interesting to find that out considering, like I said, it's been very off and on. Um, I don't have force feedback right now, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why. I mean, it was there and then now it's gone. I don't, I don't really know why it's doing this, but we're going to figure it out. Maybe, maybe we won't figure it out. I mean, that's definitely an option as well, too. I'm going to try and throw this here. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, man. Definitely miss this game, though. I mean, just being back here, the roads, the scenery, the car look. I mean, everything about this I missed, man. I definitely did. And the only thing, though, is that there's no roundabouts, I don't think, in this game. I could be mistaken, but there were some badass drift sections on this game, though. 110%, man. Red Rock, I think it was one of them. I could be wrong. No, that's the damn mountain. It's, I actually forget all the names. I'm not going to sit here and make myself look like an idiot. I probably just botched the first one. But I definitely do want to get some drift builds going on this and start this up again. I just wish I had my account, man. I lost all my damn money. I lost everything that I had unlocked with this game. So it's a little frustrating starting all the way from ground up again, considering my controller does not work at the same time as the wheel. So if I ever want to do any type of upgrades, I'm actually going to have to do it with uh, my little damn Allen key on the wheel so we'll see what happens maybe i'll have to upgrade the cars and then sign out plug in the wheel and do all that i think that would be actually a little bit better maybe 
next episode, I'll have a few cars built up for you guys, considering I got 60 grand, man. Look at this shit. Shut up, lady. Just put me into the event. Thank you. I'm entering it. I don't know if she said you can enter it, but I'm entering it, alright? So the next comment here we have is from Zum, and he goes, Slap, are you disappointed at all in Forza Horizon 3 so far? I dislike the car list, the map looks small and has no mountain type roads, and the way they said you make your own story makes me worry there isn't one. Now five of you guys thumbs that up. The car list, I don't really have any issues with. Obviously, I wish there was more tuners, you know, I wish there was more kind of old school cars, and I wish the FC made a damn appearance in the game. Thankfully, we have the S14, but as you guys know, it's not, you know, a car that comes in the game. You actually have to win it, which means you're not going to be able to have more than one of them. So that kind of sucks as well, too. You know, the most highly anticipated car, I feel, in Forza Horizon 3, um, we're not even going to get to drive for the first month and change, and then we got to wait to win the damn thing, too, right? So it's a little bit greasy on their part, but it does build the hype up for sure for those events. I mean, it's a smart idea in a marketing perspective, but it sucks for the consumer. Oh, my Jesus, man. Just ruined that whole front end. I don't know if you guys... Yeah, you, you've seen that. What am I saying? I'm sliding it. Screw it. We got two laps. I'm feeling good, even though I'm in six, but whatever, though. But, uh, yeah, the car list is nice. There's a lot of new cars coming into the game, which is really cool. And, obviously, that's a big thing, man. I mean, we want to see new cars get added in to the car list. I don't really care what they are. As long as they're new for right now, especially with Forza Horizon, it's pretty damn cool to see. I'm really happy that they added in the Utes so we can actually start driving those again, have some fun with those, and, uh, you know, just, just live the Australian life. As, uh, I mean, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying, man. But, um, yeah, the map, I would have really loved to see some toge sections, some mountain-style mountain, you know, I was going to say mountain-style mountains, man, what the hell does that even mean, man? Some damn toge-style mountains on there. I actually asked that when I was in the interview, um, well, not the interview, but when I was in the behind closed door session at E3, I asked them about that, if there was any mountain-style roads. They did say there's a lot of elevation in it, but unfortunately, though, there's nothing really like a toge style mountains. So that's disappointing, but I'm sure though that we're going to be able to make our own drift sections and all that stuff. I'm not worried about the drift sections. I mean, obviously every year that we play this, I mean, we always find sections no matter what. So I'm not worried about that at all. What I am worried about is coming in first place, man. I can't get first place at all. I've been coming in second every day of race. And I mean, like I said earlier, if you ain't first, you're last. So obviously I've been in last every... Oh my god! Cancel that upload, I don't want that shit. So ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it for Forza Horizon 1 for today's episode. 86,000 credits. I'm gonna go make myself a brand new car, showcase that for you guys for next episode. We're level damn two. Oh, I'll damn collect that shit, girl. Don't you worry about that. I'll be grabbing that next episode for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys once again for coming around for today's episode of Forza Horizon 1. Don't forget to slap that like button if you would like to see another one next week. Come find me if you're man enough. You're gonna call me out like that? Oh! Might as well just go do this right now then. Let's go then. Take your damn ride right now. Oh my god! In 200 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be arriving right now. I'm gonna come in in style just to show this chick what's up. Look at her! Okay, I'm gonna take that damn raptor from you, girl. Let's go. Oh, look at my damn Corrado. I totally forgot about that thing. We're going with the Subi. Let's get it. All-wheel drive, power in the dirt. Oh, shit, I just went through a comment here from Hayden. Last episode, he says, To get your previous progress, you can upload the save from your 360 hard drive to cloud storage, which is on the 360. It will allow you to use it on backwards compatibility, man. This guy just came in clutch. However, though, um, I think the reason why I didn't have it when I played it on the 360 a while back was because I deleted that save, unfortunately. Now, hold on. See, that's sick, man. We need more starts like that for Forza Horizon 3, guaranteed. I mean, like I said, this is going back to the roots of racing, man. This is dope. And I, oh, man, I'm so disappointed now coming back to this that we didn't get any of these style races in Forza Horizon 2. At least from what I then can recall. I'm not 100% sure, but like these damn street race style, I really do enjoy this. This chick's hitting the damn car. Take care. That's what I need. Oh, my God. That's what I needed. But now I'm going to, yep, I'm just going to hit the car myself. Cool. Here we go. 
Now the biggest thing as well too I read in the comments uh, was regarding the fact that this isn't technically just free. You do need to input your payment information in order to get this for free, which I don't think is a big deal. I mean, it's 2016. Um, let's be honest. I mean, if somebody can hack into your Xbox account and steal your information, then really nobody's safe on here, right? So I would say do it. I don't think there's a real big problem with it. And, uh, you know, once you do that, you're going to get Forza Horizon 3 or 1 for free, right? I mean, that's all. We are ripping through this shit right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Look at the damn map. She is coming damn quick. When you hit Excuse me? I'll be in touch about a showcase event oh, I'm shit. Organizing. Oh, shit, man. That thing is right there, and I can't even look back. Like, this is terrible. Don't you damn pass me, girl. Boom! Yep, I knew that. Tell me it hit her. I can't even see, man. This is a problem right now. I need to remap this shit. Unfortunately, I can't even remap it, so I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about right now. I swear, I'll put this chick in the wall. Where is she? She's back there, but I can't see her, though. Looks like we're pulling a slight bit. I do like this mystery almost, man. I can't even see her, but I do enjoy it, though. It's different. Ooh! Damn, man, we are whipping this thing. The raptor seems like it's staying with us, though. What? That's not good. That's not good. Please tell me she hit that car. Nope. Oh, my God. This is the stretch right here, man. Last 9%. Come on. I think we got it. We're good. I'm going to rip a damn 360 right over the line. Oh, yeah. Let's go. First place, we're going to take this girl's ride to end off the episode exactly how I wanted to end it, man. We come in second the entire way. We're sandbagging four. We race her one-on-one, -on -one, and we beat her, man. Thanks to the car that hit her, right? I mean, I didn't beat her straight up, but, I mean, our car is stock, right? So, whatever, man. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for Forza Horizon 1 for today's episode, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to slap that like button. Show your support in the comment section down below. And as well, too, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. To put a slap train, I'm out. Peace. Car looks like shit. Guys. Uh.